Well, the big accident this morning is coming on Hindalco. That stock is now down 10%. Uh, Nigel, what's the reason for that? Well, uh, Novelist came out with a set of numbers and the numbers were bang in line. On the EBITDA, on the EBITDA per ton came in at around $500 per ton. They've also guided that in the next quarter, the EBITDA per ton moves to $525 per ton. And, you know, in the subsequent months or quarters, it's going to move to around $600 per ton. They have all those plans in place. So no worries on that front. The problem is the debt moved up marginally. That as well is okay because they have a big capex underway. The biggest problem about these numbers were they shocked the street, they went ahead and they increased their capex on the 600,000 ton plant that they're setting up in the United States. Earlier it was at around $2.5 billion odd. Now they've upped that to around $4.1 billion and the street doesn't like this sort of a capex spike. In addition to that, they've also said that the project was expected to be completed in the early part of the first half of FY26, that's the financial year. Well, now in fact they're talking about in the second half of FY, uh, you know, of uh, calendar year 26. So that's the problem with, uh, you know, with regard to higher capex as well as delaying the project. Brokerages, Aquarius, they have an ad rating on the stock, target price of around 570 rupees. But they're saying the IRR on this project from around 17% earlier, now they're working with around 10 to around 12%. Jefferies, they continue to remain, uh, maintain their buy rating with a target price of 725. They'll review it post the India numbers that will be expected in the next few hours. While Incred, they have a, you know, contra view. They like the capex. They're saying if the stock falls because of this capex announcement, then buy it. So that's the contra view that's coming in there. For the time being, the street has no patience when Capex goes up for Hindalco in particular. Explains why the stock is down 14%. All right, uh, Nigel, thanks uh, very much for that.